been a few months since I've done any posts on YouTube so I thought it was about time I got out and did some. Uh, we're well and truly now into the fly fishing season. It's uh, middle of May. I've come all the way down from Kent to uh, Wiltshire. Um, we're just outside of Salisbury and we're going to go fly fishing. Um, which will be interesting because I haven't been fly fishing in about a year. So you're going to see some pretty interesting casting, I think. <laughs> anyway, we're coming down here to go fly fishing for trout, grayling. Um, we may even pick up a few chub and um, we've had perch down here before. Who knows, it could be a completely mixed bag. Um, today, the weather is supposed to be a little bit of a mixed bag. I mean, at the moment, it's beautiful. But if you look behind me, there's some big storm clouds so it's supposed to be a mixture of sun and clouds so let's see how we get on so here we go i've teamed up with my old fishing buddy craig hello craig hello. <laughs> we're gonna go fly fishing but craig's been doing a lot of fly fishing recently so i'm expecting him to hand me my ass <laughs> Have you been catching a lot of fish recently, Craig? Yep, loads. Yeah, what yep. did you get? Grayling, trout, it's been fishing well, and hopefully there'll be a few mayflies out today. But we have brought the GoPros out, which does mean... It's the kiss of death. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see though. Recently it hasn't been, um, so maybe I've broken the curse. Uh, <laughs> that's a good curse. Anyway, where are we going down to? What's this river? This is the Upper Avon, the Hampshire Avon, chalk stream. So are we in Hampshire or are we in Wiltshire here? This is actually Wiltshire here. Yeah. The, uh, the, the river predominantly flows through, uh, through Hampshire, so it comes down through Amesbury, down through Salisbury, and then out to the sea in uh, Christchurch. And we've fished here before, haven't we? Yeah, we had a pretty bad day out of it last year. Well, it um, wasn't too bad. I caught my biggest grayling. I mean, that was probably... It was a tough day. It was the height of the summer, July, really hot, really sunny, yeah. tough fishing conditions. But that was probably like a three pound grayling I had out, wasn't it? Till yep. three pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a biggie. It was all down, completely down to skill. There was no what? luck involved. Sneaking um, it out. Yeah. <laughs> Behind the sluice gate at the weir pool. <laughs> yeah. I literally dropped the hook into its mouth and it just breathed in at the right time. Okay, so let's get down there and see if we can get something. Okay, we've just come down to the river. Um, this is just going down to have a little look and see if there's anything coming up. Um, if there is, then we'll fish it. If there isn't, then we'll move on. But um, just to let you know, um, just over here, is where I caught a three pound, um, what's it, grayling? Just, over, just beside that wall over there. There's a little bit of colour in the water, yeah, and there's been a bit of rain. So it has been raining, yeah. So the water's a little bit coloured. We're just going to look and see if anything comes up. But um, we are prime mayfly season now, so hopefully there'll be some mayflies about. So I haven't seen much coming up on the surface, so we're going to have a go at some uh, nymphing using the induced tape method try and fall the trout. There's some really nice uh, grayling in this stretch as well. Quite deep, slow flowing, um, and we'll just work our way up and see if we can see if we can uh, pull one out. And then hopefully we might start to see some insect life coming off the water and uh, the fish come out and rising and move on to the dry. If it doesn't work, I've got some dynamite with me. So. <laughs> or net them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'll lay down my long line. <laughs> okay.
Ah, trout. There we go. Yeah, we got it here. Oh well, let's come up. Okay. It's a little trout. trout. Yeah, oh, a nice. little brownie. So, let's have a little look at this bad boy. Oh no, don't come off. He actually, I was bringing it in and I was just bringing it up and it just came by and did a flyby, then turned around and um, <laughs> came straight back and took it, which was good. So I caught it all on the GoPro as well, which is nice. Oh, he's come off. He's come off. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'll give you that one. There we go. Hopefully that's a sign of things to come. Oh look, and the sun's come out. Just perfect timing. <laughs> come on then. Let's have a look at this. Here we go. Check that out. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. Oh, he's caught another one. <laughs> I think he just had another take. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll try and catch one now. Oh. Uh -huh. oh, I just had a little brown trout come and take it. And I, oh. <laughs> How did it not hook that? It took it all the way. Oh, it's taking it again. <laughs> That's, I've never seen that with a trout before. This trout must be really hungry or pretty stupid. Um, okay, let's see if we can actually get this one into the net this time. Look at this bad boy. Oh no, come off. Do you see that? Everybody saw that on YouTube. Craig just tried to bump my first fish. <laughs> well done, guys. <laughs> so that is one of the stockies. And the way you can tell it's a stocky, so there's no really bright red spots along it and his tail. This one's had a bit of a hit on the head. He's a bit chewed, probably a heron having a yeah. go at him. But a, nevertheless, a it's still fish. a beautiful little brown trout. Look at that. You've got to love this. This is, it's such nice fishing. I do enjoy this kind of fishing. It's just nice and light. It doesn't and get any better than this. This is so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, let's put him back. <clears throat> Keep What's happening, Craig? Little brownie. Little brownie. So, a few seconds ago, I saw you all messed up up here. <laughs> it's getting really angry, and then this happens. <laughs> oh, look at that! That's a beauty. Well done, mate. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Look at this. Showing us it all, showing us all how it's done. Okay. There we go. A little stocky, a few more red spots on this one. Yeah, lovely. Absolutely lovely. 
<laughs> oh yeah, it's grayling. Ah, oh, it's not a bad grayling either. see here's a lovely grayling with its sail out little brownie haven't got oh. yeah. absolutely so come on craig how's it been been pretty good yeah been pretty good so how many fish have we had um we've had 12 between us yeah six each and oh fish just come up More um and how long have we been down here for? Exactly two hours. 12 fish in two hours. That's the way we do it. I get to go fishing biannually. Yeah. My biannual fishing trip. Um, and so I have to get them when I can get them. Uh, so yes, yeah, six fish in two hours on 400 yards of stretch of water part of the course no i never get this it's going really well oh yeah that's perfect isn't it it's a really good fight Yeah, I reckon he's probably, he's going to go four or five pounds, isn't he, at least. In fact, he might be bigger than that. Is he? To be, just be able to sort of sustain that amount of a fight. Yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice trout, man. Do you want me to get him? I've got a longer net. Goody there. It's gonna be a five pounder, I reckon. That's a nice trout. Shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. How did he turn? Okay. I won't snatch it over and just bring him in. And he's not going to fit into this net very well. It's too big. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah. He's not that heavy, he's but he's a quite a stonking big fish. Well, he's got a wide body yeah. there, hasn't he? He's not. He must. He must be four, four, yeah. five pounds. Yeah. He doesn't feel heavy, but he's got a big body. Yeah, I mean, that's got to be. It's got to be four pounds at least. Right. He's a big fish. Like, he's a big fish. He just doesn't weigh a huge amount, which is weird. But I suppose he's... He's in nice condition, eh? He is perfect That's a nice fish. Nice fish, eh? By far, the biggest trout I've had in a river. Yeah. Century. 
bits, haven't they? Get your hand out around the other side, your back end, yeah. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Well happy with that. So we've come down to a, another secret spot. Where are we, Quake? It's about a mile further downstream. It's not that secret. But there are trout in here and it looks really nice. And bread. One just come up there. So as we were leaving the last bit of river, um, there, there was a bit of a fly hatch happening. So it could be that um, the flies are starting to come out, which means that we can do a bit of dry fishing, dry fly fishing on the surface, which ultimately is more fun than what I'd like to do. But look at this river. Ooh. Just came up. Let's go fishing. Craig! Craig!
Nice trout, eh? That's, That's a really colourful one. Look at that. That is a that's a brown trout if ever I've seen yeah, one. So we've got into the afternoon. Um, it's going well. We're still catching fish, which is good. Um, how many fish are we on now, Craig? Uh, 10 each. 10 each, that's pretty good going. Um, Craig had a storming fish out of the last section. Uh, it was probably about a four, well, it looked like a four to five pound rainbow trout out of the river, which is big, big trout for around here. Um, I didn't do so well on the last section, but the section before that I had four uh, brown trout out in probably about 25 minutes, <laughs> so that was pretty good. So we're just going to go down to another section here and see if we can get some stuff. There seems to be a bit of a hatch going on, so mayflies are on. Let's see how it goes. He broke the spell. Put what go for a really long one up by those that willow. Oh, <laughs> well done, mate. It's all on video. It's all on video. Did you just stun it with um <laughs> Is it a rainbow? Is it a rainbow? Is that Yeah. Nice. We can't seem to set a foot wrong today. That's the first rainbow I've had out of the river. It's really, really cool. It's silver, silver, yeah. It almost looks like a sea trout. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It is a trout, isn't it? It's not a salmon. Yeah, it's a real slab, isn't it? It's got a real sort of, what do they call this, sort of silver bar. <laughs> yeah, it's a very silvery fish. It's got no colour on its no, belly. Cool. Oh. Oh. He went for the old Alton Towers return, return, <laughs> return as well. Projector net. There's a little button down there. Oh, 
Last one. So finishing up, we have been fishing all day and we have caught a lot of fish in loads of different methods. We've caught them on dry fly, nymphing, um, and we've had, I've had uh, brown trout and some, um, what are they called? Grayling. Grayling. And uh, you've had... Managed to wink out a couple of uh, rainbows. Yeah. So there we go. A very, very successful day's fly fishing. So, um, yeah, you couldn't ask for a better day's fishing in my opinion, and very, very enjoyable. <laughs> Signing off. See you later.